Hello, YouTube. I'm uh, in a little bit of a mess here in the van at the moment because I've been doing some work. Now, the problem I've been having is that when I was away last, um, you can see it blinking there in the background, it's not very good because it's quite dark, but when I was away last, my charge controller stopped working. It would work one day, and then the next day I'd be in full sunshine and there'd be no charge coming into the battery. Um, now I could tell this quite simply by looking at my monitor here, and it would say something like, you know, 12.6 or 12.7 volts, it's 12.5 today, and there'd be a discharge going on from um, some of the things I was using, and in full sunshine, should be getting a good charge and it should be way above 13 volts so this happened on several days and the way i fixed it was by removing the fuse and putting the fuse back in and it seemed to start the charge controller off on its cycle of charging the battery but i had to do this every day pretty much um, and then it got to a point where it just wouldn't charge at all and so what I did then, I swapped back to my very cheap eBay special £10 charge controller and that, that kept me going for my trip. I contacted Victron Energy and they were very quick in responding, they're very helpful um, and actually said send it back and they'll check it and uh, I did that and they promptly checked it and uh, updated the firmware for me and uh, said it was fine there was nothing wrong with it and sent it back to me now yesterday I've reinstalled it and um, it's doing exactly the same thing so here we are um, it's not sunny today but I'd be expecting some charge don't expect it to be discharging because the lights have got on and um, I've checked the voltage from the panels uh, because what, one of the things they said to me was well the difference it needs to be a 5 volt difference from your batteries uh, to your panels for it to start its cycle of charging and at the time when I was away I didn't have a multimeter I didn't know what the, the panel voltage was um, but I've checked the panel voltage today and it's 21 about 20 to 21 volts um, and it's, it's cloudy rainy so so it's not bad really um, but obviously the battery is at 12.5 as you can see so it's massively over 5 volts as they say um, but we've still not got anything happening so this is an update video I'll um, done this as well so I can show Victron Energy um, can show them the numbers and uh, I'll see where we go with it and, and I'll let you know see here on the multimeter um, that's reading 20.7 volts. Looking at the monitor for the batteries, about 12.4 volts. And obviously I've just shown you that the panel voltage is 20 point something. So, you know, that's a good seven or eight volts higher than the battery. So based on what Victron Energy tell me, that charge controller now should be, should have started its charge cycle and we should be seeing a charge so that's where we're at i'll uh, get back in touch with them and i'll let you know what they say <laughs> 